All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. So we got a call this morning from Rigo Built Garage here in El Paso, and the Gen 2 is finally all finished up. We have the Garrett turbos on. We have uh, added uh, AMS catted downpipes. Thank you, AMS, for the catted downpipes. And we've added boost tubes from Cobb. We've added ID 1050s, and we're on ethanol. Still stock motor, so we're really gonna push this thing to see how far it's gonna be able to go. So let's go take a look at it. Alrighty, let's fire this up. We actually need to let Marley drive this truck as hers. So how about you do the honors of driving it into the shop? All right guys, so we're gonna tune the Gen 2, but they're also getting ready to get the Gen 3 in here. They're also gonna test fit the ID 1050s on the Gen 3 today as well. Hopefully they can get the 1050s to fit, that way we can support full E85 on the Gen 3 as well. So we'll also update you guys on that, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the Gen 2 and see what the first test pool does. Um, I'm super excited because I really think we can, we can make that 650 to 700 mark. Stock motor, that's my goal. Um, we're really gonna push this thing to see what it can do. And that's really the goal here, to see what we can get away with and how much power we're going to make. So we have the fueling set up. Again, we have all the mods, all the supporting mods. We have the catted downpipes from AMS. Again, thank you guys. ID 1050s, Garrett Powermax Stage 2 Turbos, a Cobb intake, a boost tubes. It's all set. So we'll do our first pull and see what it does. Just finished the first pull and it made 614 wheel horsepower and 658 torque. So the torque is too high, uh, that's one thing for sure. I'm gonna have to lower that, but I don't like the way the, the curve comes on. So I'm gonna change some of that up. But I can't really get boost where I want it right now. I've got torque right where it needs to be though. It's, it's perfectly flat, it looks great. But I'm still working on boost. Hopefully we can get two or three more PSI and that'll hit our 650 target. But it's not, definitely not making 700, which is unfortunate. So if I can figure out the boost issue, then we'll be up there for sure. So we just finished up. The truck made 628 horsepower and 600 foot-pounds of torque. I like the torque number. Um, it's, it's where it needs to be. Uh, the horsepower number is a little bit lower than I was expecting. I was hoping for at least 650. So I'm gonna have to spend some more time on the dyno. Um, end up working at boost in the higher end later on. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and do some street tests to see how the truck does. Actually, on our way home, we can pass through Mexico again and maybe get the Gen 2 against the Gen 3 and do some draggy as well. So our quest for 11s is here. How you like it? I like it a lot. Yeah? Pretty quick? That's oh, yeah. cool. Nice. T-Rex is here, I come. Okay. <laughs> 